He's acted in at least 57 films, produced eight of them, written three, but in our number one story in the countdown, John Cusack now has a new role, political polemicist. He joins us presently. First, his debut commercial for MoveOn.org. Do you think you can tell President Bush apart from John McCain? Really? Pop quiz. Who supports keeping our troops in harm's way in Iraq, but not a bipartisan GI Bill of Rights to support them when they return home? Whose top advisors are linked to war profiteers? Who tried to convince Americans to privatize our Social Security? Who opposed health care for uninsured children last year? And the answer is both. Go to MoveOn.org and take the Bush-McCain challenge. Bet you can't tell them apart. MoveOn.org political action is responsible for the content of this advertisement. That ad released just months after the premiere of Cusack's new film, War, Inc., set in the fictional Turakistan, where tanks carry advertising banners, journalists are confined to the Emerald City. The movie satirizes the enormous influence that companies like Halliburton and Blackwater have in Iraq. Indeed, the fictional corporation that runs Turakistan is itself run by a former vice president of the United States, who in publishing, or pushing rather, for his company's latest big sell in that war-torn country, hits on a familiar rationale, quote, it's our big launch, bringing democracy to this part of the world. Plus, now that we've bombed the blank out of them, well, there's a lot of rebuilding to do. As promised, we're joined now by John Cusack, who's in London tonight. Thanks for your time tonight, John. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm a big fan of the show. Well, thank you for, for, for your time this evening. We'll get to the film in the moment, but, but first this ad. Acting is one thing. Producing is one thing. Interviews one thing. Uh, they, they're, they're protest, but you know, protest art, but they're still art. Why go into a situation where, you know, the move on ad is, is, is literally and utterly you out there? Well, you know, I've been um, sort of um, politically active and saying what I think for a long time. And I think maybe in 2008, if you're not going to be an activist now, I don't know when you ever are going to be. And um, I think we're in a, a place now where... You know, if torture is a for-profit business, you know, if, if the Bush administration and the Republican ideology that it represents is going to outsource interrogation and the very core functions of state and military, and, and, and if we're so far down the rabbit hole that that's true, then I think um, your conscience uh, dictates that you, that you speak out. So in this case, I uh, uh, agreed with Move On, and uh, everything I said in the ad is true. So I'm, I'm happy to do it. Well said. I, I need to welcome you to this vast society of uh, fear-mongering smear merchants or, or smear-mongering fear merchants. I'm not sure which it is. Whatever we're called, uh, Bill O'Reilly has attacked you, says this is propaganda. Uh, just uh, swing away. What's your reaction? Well, you know, I, it's, it's um, as I said, if you're, if you're not going to speak out now, I, I think maybe when, when folks like that attack you, it means that you're probably somewhere close to the truth. Um, and uh, as I, I, I said before when asked about that, I mean, you beat his head in every night, so I, I think it would just be piling on, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, no, so don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Where, where, where would one begin? Don't blame his condition on my beating his head in every night. He came to us this way. Uh, when, when celebrities and, and, and uh, performers get involved in politics, obviously there can be uh, an impact. The, you know, the, the, the obvious example, Oprah Winfrey with Barack Obama. Is there any concern that, that they sometimes uh, blow back, that, they, that it could be hurtful to a candidate or to a cause? Yeah, I think, I, I think when you say something is as important as what you say in some ways. And, um, you know, I, I certainly wouldn't uh, want to lecture the electorate or uh, the American people about anything. But on the same token, um, you know, I have a right to speak out and, and, and speak my mind, and democracy requires participation. Um, and some things are so egregious, um, and I think that this administration, as you've chronicled for seven years, has been so criminal and lawless that, um, you know, I, I think uh, morality compels you to speak out. Um, so uh, I think um, what you say is important, but when you say it is also important, and, and I felt now was the time to say it. Reality versus versus fiction. In in the film, you play an assassin who has gone to uh, Turakistan to protect the corporation's oil interest by killing a Middle Eastern oil executive who wants to build his own pipeline. Given that, I mean, that's kind of uh, uh, it, it, it seems far fetched. And then comes the news this week that four U.S. oil companies are now on the verge of getting back into Iraq 
to manage the Iraqi oil 36 years after Saddam Hussein nationalized their wells. They, they, there's there's a, such a blur here. Every time somebody gets a good imaginative idea on how to satirize this, this war, uh, it seems like the Bush administration beats you to it. Yeah, it's very true. You know, in, in, a, in, a, in a way, I think what uh, satire and absurdity does is just take the current trends to their logical conclusion. And even if you really go out there on a limb and, and get way out there and stay out there, it's very hard to stay ahead of this, this crew. Um, I mean, this is such a corrupt ideology, um, and it's been such a disaster. And I really think that this, this idea that government really, the job of government is to um, preside over a, a corporate feeding frenzy and give total liberations for corporations, you know, and that's at the core of Heritage Foundation and Cato and... Mm -hmm you know, the project uh, for the new American century, many of the signatories on that are now working for John McCain. So it's the same, um, it's the same crew, you know, they go into this revolving door between the corporations and uh, the government. And, um, you know, it's a pretty dark reality. So are you, I agree. Are, are you hopeful, and I, and I say this as, as a, a precursor to showing this tape again, which you'll see on about a five-second delay from uh, Raleigh, North Carolina this afternoon. First off, we have the Newsweek poll that shows Obama is up by 15 points um, after one month of a general campaign. Let's play this tape, boys. Um, this is from uh, is President Bush's arrival in Raleigh, North Carolina, and he waves to the two guys who are waiting to see him, and they don't even move. There's no reaction whatsoever. When, when you see something like this... Are you encouraged? Are you hopeful about the state of the United States? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I am, I, I am hopeful about it, and I. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> yep, that's our president. Um, I, I am hopeful about it, but I do think that you know, we have to call on all well-meaning libertarians, Republicans, Democrats to sort of expose and shame. Uh, the last seven years, and I and I do think if um, the Democrats say impeachment's off the table, I think that's very troubling. So um, I, I do I, I think that if if that sends out a signal that uh, the rule of law doesn't mean anything if we're within striking distance of the White House, um, then I think you have to also take a hard look at the Democrats and not only the people who have stood by and enabled George Bush, but also the Democrats who um, would, would uh, allow this to continue and allow these crimes to stand. I think that's deeply, deeply troubling as well. But um, to uh, give you a more coherent answer, I, do, I, am, I am still optimistic and I do think Obama's going to win and I think uh, the country's going to change, which I'm grateful, grateful for. John Cusack, actor and activist, we are grateful for you uh, staying up, up uh, late with us here in London. Uh, good luck, safe travels. Yeah, I'm always uh, happy to have an excuse to be incoherent, so it's late at night. And, uh... <laughs> Take care. That's Countdown you, for this, the 1,878th day since the Declaration of Mr. Conflict in Iraq. I'm Keith Olbermann. Good night and good luck.